Hey everyone, Ryan and Tom here. This week at Secure It, we're talking about gun rooms. It's a very popular thing to do, so we're going to walk you through what we've done here in the office. Yeah, the gun room concept, building gun rooms, is becoming more and more popular. And our number two selling product is gun room kits and gun room components, you know, next to the Agile line. So what we're going to do is get rid of the table, back the camera up, and kind of show you. You guys see the end wall of our gun room, but there's, there's a lot more here. And we're going to walk through and explain kind of what our thought process is, what we did here, and I'll give you guys some ideas for what's possible. All right, guys, so we brought the camera outside. Now, this is a uh, bookshelf system we had made by Murphy Door. Now, normally, when you've got a, like, a hidden room, you're not going to advertise to everybody what you're doing for security reasons. Um, our building is very secure, and we've got some other security features built in that we're not going to be talking about. But what we've got is basically bookshelves with a display of kind of the history of some of our product development and some of the stuff that we do with some of our early prototypes. And this is the gun room. So we're in the room now, and as you can see on this wall, this is kind of our, our military, very industrial, high capacity look. Yeah, the panels were mounted all buttered up against each other to give it a straight, solid wall of cradle grid. Now, I've got almost all military weapons in here. I've got a 240, a couple of 249 saws. We've got our Mark 19. Now, these are all replica weapons. When we go on a military basis or do military trade shows, we can't bring real guns. So we own quite a few replicas, and they're very good replicas. This one was actually made for us by a machine shop. Um, one thing that we can demonstrate, this is actual weight. It's all steel. This is, this is a 90-pound gun. It's sitting on one of our shelves. This, now, the lower bases are designed to also use spade grips. But I just want, we're showing you that this, these shelves will hold quite a bit of weight, and they're just hanging on the grids. So what I've got, all vertical high-density storage, come in some display of some of our, uh, some of our range guns. So, and then we're coming into our reloading station. All right, now we're at the end of the room, and this is really set up more of, this is our work area. Yeah, now you'll notice the workbench here. This is something that we custom made with the materials left over from making this room. And it's not something we usually do, but it turned out really nice. And you got the wood finish and it doesn't damage the firearms. And you got a lot of space, so everything's right at your fingertips. It's paired really great when you have cradle grid right there. So you, all the parts for reloading or whatever you're doing, just put them right in the bins. You got a lot of space to work with. Yeah, we get... um. We do get a lot of questions about workbenches. We don't make, we don't sell workbenches. If you are looking for a workbench, you know, take a cue from the military. Uh, inch and a half, two inch laminate workbenches. A global industrial sells them, just metal benches with a wood. The laminate wood surface is probably the best for guns. It won't mar the guns. It's really durable. If it gets dirty, oily, you can just plane it down and it'll look brand new again. Um, that's what the military uses almost exclusively. Um, we do install a lot of those. Now, we've got this set up for reloading over here. And what Cradle Grid and all the bins and accessories allows you to do is really organize a reloading area. Um, really effective. We don't do a ton of reloading. We're kind of new to it. Um, we use all Redding gear. Redding Reloading is located about 30 miles south of us. We know all those guys. So they're kind of helping us out and getting this whole system set up. Um, I've got a vice set up with a 17 on it. We're doing a scope swap on that. Um, up top is our 50. That's a replica 50, but it's a really nice one. The guys did a good job building it. That's AR-10 Super SAS, and that's a, a, uh, this is a New York State compliant uh, hunting rifle, 308, that acts tactical out of uh, Utica made that for us. It's a really, really nice. It's actually a really nice gun. I've got a couple optics over here. We do a little work with, uh, with Vortex. We just recently did a swap of cabinets for scopes. Um, I like their stuff. I'm a big fan. There's a lot of good optics out there. Vortex makes really good stuff. Yeah, know, I just want to uh, quickly mention the, the pair that goes so well with this wood and the cradle grid. So let's show you guys what we did with our display wall. So guys, we got the display wall set up. What we did here is we took Naughty Hickory and framed out the wall and then put the panels in between it. And what it just it breaks up the look of the room. It gives it a little softer look. And then we set all the rifles up for basically display. I'm a big lever action guy, and this is part of my collection. We've got brought in here down to muzzle loader, some old shotguns. And this is, uh, was originally all foreign weapons here. It's been changed around a little bit. Now, people have asked me, um, and it's been posed a few times, how do we have these guns in New York State? We are in New York State, and I've got to deal with the SAFE Act. 
Um, this is my personal collection, and I owned all these rifles prior to the implementation of that law. But being in New York State, as of right now, we cannot buy more AR-15s unless we buy New York State compliant guns. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it, but I just we get a lot of questions about that. And I want everybody to know that this is a collection that dates way prior to the SAFE Act. But understand, in New York State, um, we can't buy more. It's a pain in the ass, but, you know, that's the state we're in. All right, guys, so over here to the end of this one wall, we've got a lot of bins set up. What I really want to show is using all the bins, I've got all of our rifles, all of our bolts, firing pins for all the rifles in the system here. Because these guns travel a lot, we do a lot of trade shows with them, we go to a lot of places, we can't take the guns with the firing pins or bolts. That's just a requirement of all trade shows. So we use our bin system to organize all the components. Every single gun on the wall has their pin or bolt in these bins. And then we also use larger bins to store additional components for building the wall. Um, now, what does this mean for you? If you guys are interested in a gun room or a gun vault, just reach out to us. All we need is the dimensions of the space, how many guns you want to store, long guns or pistols, and um, just kind of the look and the feel. Do you want a high density or do you want a nice aesthetic display? And, uh, you know, we'll work with you and we'll get you something that you're happy with. Yeah, we have our armory design group for our military side. We design armories all over the world. We also can provide you guys with a drawing for your space. So again, send us the dimensions of the room. We can draw up some ideas. There's no charge for it. And just give you an idea of what the space will look like. It's not technical drawings. It's more like um, if you ever have a kitchen design, you go in to kind of throw the cabinets up and give you kind of a rendering of what it looks like. We can do the same thing. That way you can better understand capacities and what the capabilities of the space are. All right, guys, so that'll do it for our gun room video. Now, if you have any questions or concerns, make sure to leave a comment below and we'll address it. As always, if you're not following us, make sure to follow us on all social media and tag us. That's going to be very important coming this year, so stay tuned. Um, lastly, our mailing list. We always have neat stuff happening, so make sure you subscribe to our email list. You can do that at the bottom of our website. Yeah, guys, um, you know, we make no bones about it. We're out to change this industry, and we can use your help. Join the team. You know, be, be part of what we're trying to do. Now, also, on the gun room, we did shoot a video when we built this room, kind of like a home improvement video from the empty room, designing the space to gutting it, and then construction of this system. And that video should be posted in about, in about a week. And it takes you through in detail everything you need to know about building a gun room. All right, well, that's all we have for you this week. We'll see you next time. All right, thanks.